Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot and I am here to do a reading for Leo. Leo, this is your monthly reading for July 2021. I'm going to pull you guys a crystal for the month of July. I'm going to pull you guys an angel answer and then I'm going <clears> to <throat> jump into the reading. So, what is Leo's um, crystal for July 2021? What is Leo's crystal for July? Okay, and we got... Christ, Chris, Chris Cola, Chris Cola, something like that. It's a fresh start. Christ Cola, something like that. But it's a fresh start. So that's y'all crystal. Whew. What is Leo's angel answer for July? Okay, so two came out, but I'm gonna just take the one that came out on the top. So the other one was yes. So, you, you're going to get some type of yes. That's your answer. The answer is yes. But I'm going to take this one and it say abundance. So, it could be letting me know. I don't know. <clears throat> you're probably not sure of this abundance. So, this abundance could be a, some type of employment. And you're not sure if you should take this um, employment. But the answer is yes. Something, something might be a, a blessing in disguise. So that could be saying, yes, that is abundance. Yes, that's for you. But your angel answer is yes and abundance, but I'm only going to take one. So let me read your crystal real quick. I got my window open. That breeze feel good, but it's throwing cards around. So let me read your crystal. It's time to start fresh. Close the door behind you so you can move forward and open a new, a new one. Every day is a blank canvas, an opportunity to boldly go after the things in life you want and leave behind anything you don't. You do not need to settle for the status quo or accept what already is. You have the power to change your life and do things differently every day. It's time to live by and out with the old and with the new and beautiful mentality. <clears throat> for the affirmation for this crystal... I welcome the opportunities each each new day brings. Tidy or redecorate a space. Welcome new life by adding fresh flowers or potted plants. Again, the affirmation. I welcome the opportunities each new day brings. Then it's giving you a suggestion. T tidy or redecorate a space. Welcome new life by adding fresh flowers or potted plants. What just came to me too for masculine Tauruses. I mean, not Taurus. So, Leo, you could probably have Taurus in your chart, or you could be dealing with Taurus, but I meant to say Leo. Whether you male or female, masculine came to me first, but it really, it really can be for both. Because it say, welcome new life. And in the book, it say flowers. But, for example, Leo, if you're a female watching this, I don't know, maybe you find out you're pregnant. Maybe you find out you're pregnant. It wasn't a planned pregnancy. Um, but you should keep the baby, keep, keep your baby, or this could be a masculine, a masculine Leo. And, um, you done got somebody pregnant and you don't want that baby, but the cars is, could be telling you, you know, it's some type of abundance. Something could be a blessing in disguise. I don't know about the mother or not, or the father, you know, but keep your baby. If you got somebody pregnant. Then accept it. If you're pregnant, accept it. So your angel answer and your crystal. Your angel answer. Oh, let me read abundance. I forgot your angel answer. Let me read this. Because <clears throat> your crystal is telling you accept new life. So that can definitely be the birth of a child or news of a child. So abundance. Great abundance will find its way into your life. Your plans will yield prosperity, providing a sense of security about the future. Your angels will be with you as you take the actions necessary to manifest your dreams. Abundance, <clears throat> abundance is not always financial in nature. I'm going to say that again. Abundance is not always financial in nature. You may be seeking to manifest new ideas, a large circle of friends, <clears throat> Vibrate, what did I say? Vibrate, 
health, vibrant health, or romantic love. This card can also reflect an inflow of any of these types of treasures into your life. Open your arms to heaven to receive with gratitude that which you desire. So a little bit of what's going on in July. Some of some of this newness, this abundance may be unexpected or initially is something that you might not want or something that you feel as though is not a blessing. As well, some of this abundance um, is something that you desire. But I'm getting, you know, for some of y'all, it could be like a blessing in disguise. You might not see the abundance of it. Um, for example, I'm going to give an example. So, when I when, when I was uh, my, my second child, when I was pregnant with my second child, I wanted a boy. But I got a girl. I was upset through my pregnancy. But after I had, when I, after I gave birth to her, it was a blessing. And... <clears throat> I did want a girl. I didn't know I wanted the girl. But once I got her, I realized that's what I needed. And I accepted it as something I wanted because I did want a girl. Although initially, I wanted a boy. When she got here, I'm like, okay, yep, God, you know, you, you did right. You did right. So something like that going on. It don't have to be a baby or nothing, but something like that going on. So, let me, okay, so at the bottom of this deck, we got sudden wealth. So, I don't know. This abundance could be money. At the bottom of this deck, we got the month of July. At the bottom of this deck, we got the two of wands. <clears throat> so, that's Leo energy. That's fire. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. And then I'm using this deck, this deck as well, and we got hustling. Okay, so I'm going to pull two tea leaf cards to see what you guys need to know. What can Leo's, what should Leo's expect? What they need to know for the month of July? What's going on with Leo's in July? What's relevant for Leo's in July? Okay, two just, mm. Three came out. Um. Okay, I'm going to take Dark Man. I'm going to take that one. Give me one more for Leo. Okay. So, first one out was dark man. Dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. Then the second one was leg. Stepping into a new experience. What's going on with dark man for Leo? Dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. The main male. So, the main male. Um, Leo, if you're a feminine, this could also be a same-sex relationship. But um, this is usually, in this Kipper deck, this is like a karmic to me, or this is an unawakened divine masculine. So, Leo, you can be a female, and you have some dealings with this dark man. And this dark man could be a karmic. Like, this dark man could be the same person. This dark man could be this main male. Or, Leo, if you're a female, you're dealing with this dark man. And he could have some interactions, like with your ex, a karmic. So, this is either the same man, or it's two different men. Um, this could also be a same-sex relationship. Leo, if you're a male watching this, you could be involved, you know, with a man. And if you are a male as well, male or female, it don't, this don't have to be sexual. This don't have to be romantic. It could be work, love, or life. What's going on with leg? With Leo stepping into a new experience? Leo stepping into a new experience. Thoughts. Yep, thoughts. So, Leo, you could, you definitely could be a masculine watching this. Because this is, in this card, this is a man thinking about this woman. Um, This woman right here. This woman could be like an empress energy. And the empress in tarot don't have to necessarily be a person. This woman, I'm picking up the empress. This could be some type of abundance. So this could be your angel answer right here. So this is a masculine thinking about his abundance. Thinking about his angel answer. So 
there was some masculine thinking about stepping into a new experience. He's probably wondering, is it going to be abundant? Is it going to be successful? This could be in work, love, or life. Um, Leo, if you're a female watching this, this could just be letting me know your masculine, your person is thinking about you. There's a man in your energy thinking about you. Because you could be stepping into a new experience and this man is thinking about you. So this could very well be you stepping into a new experience with another man. And it's like this thoughts card could be your ex. It could be that main male. Because you, you could have stepped into a new experience with this dark man and left the main male behind. Something like that. <clears throat> so, what's going on with Leo's with this dark man and main male? Okay. Oh, nine swords. All right. So, somebody somebody uh, stressed out. Somebody in their head regarding dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. And or a main male. This could be a guilty conscience. Leo, if you're a female, I don't know. This could be you having to choose between two. Or if you have already made your choice, Leo, you probably got to break somebody's heart. And it's like you dreading. You dread it. You don't want to do this. Something you probably don't want to deal with. Or you could be haunted by the past, Leo. Leo, you could probably have air in your chart. Libra, Aquarius, uh... Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini? Whew. Tell me more about Nine of Swords. Tell me more about Nine of Swords. Or this main male could be an air sign and he's stressed out. Because you could be leaving him behind, um, Leo. Tell me more about this Nine of Swords. Okay, Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. Okay, so I think Leo, you probably in the midst of a third party, and you like making a decision. I think you choose this dark man, this this dark man over the main male. Um, the dark man and the main male is this the same person? Oh, it's telling me it is. Hmm. Okay, so that just switch up the story a little bit. Dealings or relationship with the man. With dark complexion or hair. This main male. Is this a karmic? This main male. Is this a karmic in this reading for Leo? No. Okay. So this is not a main male. So this could be your divine masculine Leo. Don't have to be. Um, This main male could be in um, family. Like this main male could be like. A brother. A cousin. But whoever this main male is. He could be like one of your favorite cousins, one of your favorite uncles or something like that. If it's not in love, it could be a, just a family member. So this main male is not a karmic. So this can be like in career or family. And this main male can be your brother. Nine swords. Is this Leo? Nine swords. Is this Leo? Yeah. Um... If it's if it is in love, Leo, this your divine masculine, but he not awakened. And it let me know, Leo, you this nine of swords. You this nine of swords, or if your divine masculine is awakened, it's like he's now your main male, or he wants to be the, the main man in your life. So either this divine masculine is not awakened, or you guys pr are probably taking your relationship to the next level, and the cards is just telling me. He's now the, the main man in your life. And, um, Leo, you stressed out. This you. You stressing about it. Oh, I think I see what's going on. You a little bit stressed out. Because, Leo, it's like you remember. You could be having nightmares. You could be paranoid. Because you remember when you was the other woman. I don't know. This man, this main male could have just broke up with somebody recently or recently got a divorce. And it's like now he the main man in your life. And it's like you probably bothered or probably don't trust this main male because of something that happened in the past. 
Um, what I'm getting to, Leo, you probably not used to this man being in your bed. And it's like, you could be uncomfortable at night. Like, if y'all, you know, y'all can move in together in July. And it's like, you used to sleeping in your bed by yourself. And it's like, now this main man, this main male, y'all done moved in together. And you probably can't sleep. You just probably got to get used to, like, somebody being in your bed. Something like that can be going on. But I'm getting a little bit... <clears throat> I don't know, Leo. I don't know. I'm picking up two. Leo, you could be pregnant. You could be pregnant. You and this main male could have had a, a quick separation. And you don't know who the father is. <clears throat> Queen of Wands, Leo, this you. You stressed out about something you did being the other woman. You very bold and confident. Or you find out you're pregnant, and it's like, you can find out you're pregnant and know who the father is. But it's just like, you stressing about some action you took that you was bold and confident about. So, this could be a little bit Leo, like, <laughs> this could be you in the recent past. This is like you putting on some, like, some lingerie, because the Queen of Wands is very attractive, very sexy. So, this is like you dressing up in your best nudity. Like, you had, you know, y'all could have did this foreplay, all that. And it's like you end up getting pregnant. So, it's like you stressed out about it. So, you can end up, you know, y'all had a good night. Foreplay, chains, whips, all that. That's what I'm getting from this Queen Wine energy. And from that night, Leo, you got knocked up. You got pregnant. Because you was being that Queen of Wands. Um, and you probably don't want to be pregnant or Leo, you, like I said, you and this main male could have had a quick separation and you pregnant and you probably don't know if, it, if it's his, if it's his baby. Yep. Yep. That's what could be going on. Um, what's going on with Leo with this leg stepping into a new experience and thoughts? Two of Wands. Two of Wands. Two of Wands. So this masculine sitting over here thinking about you, Leo. Whew. What's happening is this man, and he could be doing this because you probably tell him you're pregnant, Leo. This masculine is thinking about stepping into a new experience with you. I don't know. He could be a first-time father. Or he could be thinking about proposing because you're pregnant. So he's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about you, this abundance, and he two wands. He two wands. He got a decision to make. Patience and planning. He thinking. Because you nine swords about being the queen of wands. So, this main male is wondering is some, if something is a good idea. He could be wondering when, the when, the why, the how, the who, the what. And that two of wands. But there's a masculine, if you're a female Leo watching this, there is a masculine thinking about stepping into a new experience with you. And he thinking about it heavy. And this new experience is him being your main male. That's his new experience. He's thinking about it. And he too wants. He could have already made the, made the decision. He could have already chosen you. But I don't know. It's something about the situation that he got to be patient and plan something. So this could be a proposal. Or like I said, Leo, you could find out you're pregnant. Something like that. Something going on. Oh, I just picked up, I picked up and I heard something simple becomes complicated real quick. Something simple becomes complicated. Clarify the two of wands. Yeah, the queen of cups. The queen of cups. Ooh, uh-oh. Let me see. The queen of cups, is this Leo? Mm, uh-oh. The queen of cups, is this Leo? Yeah, okay, good. Because I was going to say, ooh, there's two women out here. Ooh, okay. 
this masculine over here, Leo, that's thinking about you, he probably wondering, do you really love him? Are you this queen of cups? He could be a little bit nervous, Leo, because he know you intuitive. He, he, you queen of cups. So this is either him, he could be in two minds because I don't know. I don't know. He probably don't want to date no tarot reader. <laughs> Leo, you could be a tarot reader. Don't have to be. But you intuitive. Or this man is wondering if you really love him or not. He could be really wondering if you love him or not. Um, Leo, this man could be an Aquarius. He's either an, an Aquarius or this man could be like very wealthy, very popular. And he could be wondering if you want him for love or for money. Yeah, this man is wondering if you want him for for love or money. Or this man is like keeping secrets. And he's wondering if you're, you're going to, you know, tap into your intuition. He in two minds about the Queen of Cups. Because like I said, this main male could be your divine masculine, but he is not awakened. And that's probably too, Leo, why you nine swords. That's probably another reason why you nine swords about this main male. And um, this main male could be have dark complexion or hair. Yeah. So what's the tea with um this dark man and the main male? What's the tea with the dark man and the main male? Yeah. See, call the case. This main male has an STD, for, probably from being a player. This main male caught a case, probably an STD, from being a player. Or this this um, masculine, this man here, he could be popular. Like I said, Aquarius energy, the star, very popular, very known, wealthy. He could be a basketball player, but he got an STD. So it's like something is bittersweet. Leo, this masculine probably told you. He probably told you, so something is bittersweet. I just got that something simple becomes complicated real quick. So, it's like, Leo, this man could be a basketball player. That's the good part about it. But the bad part about it, he got STD. So, it's like, I don't know. Leo, you um, you probably got a decision to make. Because I don't know if this STD curable. So, this man could have caught an STD from being a player. Or it's letting me know something is bittersweet because... um. He could be, it could be all good because he's wealthy, he's a basketball player. But it's just that the downside is he got STD. Yeah. So that's probably why you nine swords, Leo. Like, see, I knew it was too good to be true. I knew it. <laughs> yep. What's going on with uh, Leo with this nine of swords and the queen of wands energy? Ooh. Yeah. Moves in silence. Moves in silence. So, Leo, I don't know if this is letting me know. At first, it's like I'm getting this man confess to you. This man either confesses to you or, Leo, you very intuitive and you could have confronted this man. And it's like he admitted it. He admitted it. And it's like you jump in this Queen of Wands energy. It's like you going you gonna to go for it. Whether he got an STD or not. You go, you down. Because it's like when you asked him, he was honest. But it's like, this is y'all. It's like, you're going to keep his secret. This could be letting me know you're going to keep his secret. This could be letting me know you guys are going to elope. I don't, I don't know. But it's letting me know. You stressing, but you're going to take some action. You you appear bold and confident, Leo, but underneath you stressing about something. You nervous. And it could very well be like you eloping. Yeah. Yep, because you is letting me know you're moving in silence. So this could be you eloping. Yep. Cause you make moves in silence. So it's like you bold, you confident. He asked you to marry you. He asked you to marry him. And you like, yeah, yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. But when it get down to the day of the day, you nine swords, Leo. 
you nervous, you probably get cold feet. You moving in silence. And you could be nine swords because you're moving in silence. So it's like you can't tell your family or you, you know, you don't tell your family and stuff. Yeah, that could be y'all eloping. Mm-hmm. What's the tea with Leo with leg stepping into a new experience and thoughts? Yeah, tripping on you. Yeah, this masculine, he tripping on you. Yeah, he like you, Leo. He like you. He tripping on you because he thinking about you a lot. And this could be him. This could be showing me Leo because this is all this masculine energy right here. This is energy. This is this is this masculine on here. And it's just showing me the process. Like this is him thinking about proposing. And then he do it. And then you nine swords and then the queen of wands. But you moving in silence. Yeah. So he tripping on you. In the month of July, Leo, there's a masculine um, thinking about proposing to you. And he might do it. Yeah, he tripping on you. He's thinking about you a lot. He could be wondering, are you, are, you know, are you the one? I know she the one, but is she the one? Will she be a good mother? Something like that. Uh, what's the tea with the two of wands and the queen of wands? Oh. Yeah. Um, uh, There's a karmic around. And I'm... Th uh, this masculine might be concerned, Leo, that you're intuitive. And you might pick up about this karmic. Something about being a spiritual hater hates on your spirituality, light, magic, and power. So, this masculine, ooh, he got somebody tucked away. He's thinking about proposing to you, Leo. He wants you. You're probably his divine feminine. But he wondering if you intuitive enough. Or he wondering if he tell you the truth about this karmic. He's wondering, do you love him enough? Will you stay or will you go? If he tell you about this karmic. But he got somebody tucked away. He got a karmic tucked away. Um, or this is this masculine. I don't know. He probably hating on you. He could be. I don't know. He probably love and hate you. He probably got a tinge of jealousy against you, Leo. And he's wondering if you're intuitive about it. Be careful. Because it's not telling me that this main male is a karmic. He's not a karmic. But this could be your divine masculine. He's just not awakened. So he probably got karmic tendencies that you don't know about yet, um, Leo. Yeah. Tell me more about this spiritual hater. Tell me more about this spiritual hater. Tell me more about this spiritual hater. Yeah, cyber bully. Cyber bully. You are being bullied online, or they are, has suffered from it. Oh, okay. So, somebody could be blackmailing this man. Somebody could be blackmailing this man. Because it's like this masculine got a spiritual hater, and this somebody that stalks him online. Or he could have did this to you in the past, Leo, and you probably don't know it was him. But I'm getting this man is kind of like keeping a secret from you. Spiritual hater. Is this this masculine? Is this this masculine? Is this this main male? The spiritual hater. Mm, yeah. Whew. Yeah. Um, Leo, this masculine did something against you in the past. He did it to you in the past. And he wondering if you know about it or not. He wondering if you know about it or not. Um, he could have been bullying you online. He was doing something, a cyber bully. Yeah. Because that's him. Yeah, and he wondering if you intuitive about it. Do you know it was him? Yeah. Yep. Yep, it's something he did against you. Or it's something he's going to do in the month of July that he might regret. But he wondering if you're in 